G'day Internet, this is Craig and this is my PC gaming life. Today I've decided that with the seemingly inevitable zombie apocalypse fast approaching, it's about time I started getting ready. And I figured what better way to get started than with Echo Software's How to Survive. So let's get started. There are three different characters to pick from in the original How to Survive. Kenji is our ranged combat specialist, and honestly, he's the kind of character I'd usually prefer to play. I like to keep the enemy, especially the undead, at a nice, safe distance. Abby is a more balanced character in combat, and has some extra crafting options that the others don't. And finally, Jack is our close combat bruiser. For a change of pace this game, I decided to play against type and go with Jack. So let's jump back into the story. Ah yes, shipwrecked. And there's an awful lot of dead bodies around here. Let's see if this guy can help us. Although he doesn't look promising. Hey, hey, you, please. I need some help. I was attacked. I'm exhausted. There are monsters everywhere on this goddamn island. Some followed me and surrounded me on this beach. I managed to kill some of them, but look, bastards bit me. Well, that probably isn't going to go well. Listen, I know there are medicinal plants around here. You gotta bring me one. It should ease the pain. Please, be quick. I'm bleeding. And we have our first mission. Movement without a gamepad is the standard WASD, and you aim and fire with the mouse. Don't mind me, just practicing my dashing a bit. As it says, pressing the tab key brings up our map, which conveniently shows us where we need to go for our current objective. Okay, here's our plant. Let's go see what else Andrew has to say for himself. Hey, my name's Andrew. I'm not sure how I ended up here. It's a little hazy. But this place... It's a nightmare. A living nightmare. I'm one of a small group of survivors. It's been about a week since we tried and failed to escape these islands. It seems impossible to get off. Many of us have died, devoured by these damned monsters. Right now my friend Ramon is all I've got left. The rest are either dead or walking dead. Ramon is injured and can hardly move. I, I left him close to our boat while I went to find fuel. Please find him. Tell him that I'm injured and stuck here. You, 
You'll find him on the beach. On the east side of the island. Listen. Be careful. Really careful. The island is swarming with these fucking monsters. Here. Take this stick. You'll need it to survive. I've got to say, mate. One week on this island, and all you've got for me is a stick? No wonder you went and got yourself bit. Oh well, let's check our map again, and go find this Ramon. Hmm, what's this book? Rules. Introduction. Greetings. If you are reading this, you are probably afraid for your life. You will be lost and hungry. And if you have not already, you will soon encounter the many zombies who live here. Please, stay positive. The situation is desperate, but not lost. Thanks to my survival guide, you will get through this. My guide is a thorough training program to help you survive the most extreme environments. It contains all you need to combat the zombies. Good luck, and see you soon, survivor! Remember, unarmed combat is useless against these monsters. Always use a weapon. Well, that's handy. And sure enough, the subsequent chapters do indeed teach me a lot of what I need to know as I start to encounter more and more zombies. Nice body slam. And when the music kicks in, you know there's more zombie trouble coming. Nice bit of ineffective left clicking there. That's better. Okay, I've found Ramon, so let's see what the deal is. Here's the plan. Last week, on another island, we found an old air tanker. It's damaged, but we could repair it and escape. Bolts can get us island to island, but by air. That seems to be the only way out of here. Andrew's mission was to find gas for the plane. This is your job now. Problem is, night is coming. And you need to know... Some really freaky creatures come out only at night, along with the... With the other monsters. These... These creatures are vile and really aggressive. They only attack when it's dark and hate bright light, so... At least you can use that against them. I'll give you my personal flashlight to go to the village. Or can I ask you to light me the campfire? So that's the basic story. Repair the plane, get off the island. With a few twists and turns and zombies along the way. And here's a taste of what it's like to survive at night. So yeah, the Night Stalker zombies are a little bit tougher to take out than the others. Along our journey we'll find different recipes for things we can craft. And we'll also find some shelters where we can grab a bit of sleep. But clearing them of zombies first can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. The shacks are also the only place you can choose to save your game, which can be a bit of a pain if you really need to stop and do something else. And we'll also encounter the enigmatic Kovac. Oh, so you are alive! After all that commotion in the village, I expected to see you dead. But you're alive. Good! Trying to break into one of my huts was not a good idea. I think you realize this now. So, how did you end up in this living hell? Can you remember? No problem. It's the same for me. All a haze. I'm Kovac. Nice to meet you. Don't be alarmed by the uh, get up. Just a kind of protection, you know? I've been on these islands for several weeks. I know a little about survival. So I built a simple shelter on a neighboring island. 
You look a little uh, unprepared, but don't worry. Jump in my boat. I will teach you some basic rules of survival. You'll be dead for sure without them. No offense. And teach us he does. One of the more important lessons to learn is the crafting of items. You can make all sorts of items from the bits and pieces you find around the island. From the healing salve we found the recipe for earlier, to potions, to flamethrowers, to chainsaws and other weapons. Here I'm making a shotgun that shoots scrap metal. And with these weapons we'll be able to fight our way around the different islands, completing objectives until we reach the suitably epic ending to this zombie kill fest. I'm pretty sure I spent a good 8 or 9 hours playing through the story and enjoyed it quite a lot. The story moves along at a nice pace, and has plenty of action and a nice touch of humour. I must admit however that despite choosing the melee character, I still found myself relying on ranged combat most of the time. When some zombies explode upon death, you really don't want them getting too close. But I'm not sure if that's a game bias, or just me. The other game mode available is Challenge Mode. I'll let Kovac explain. Challenges! The rules of a challenge are simple. You start with an empty backpack in an unknown area of the island and attempt to find an airplane before you die. As you can see, there are quite a few different scenarios which mostly vary by the gear you find and use and the types of zombies you'll encounter. I personally quite enjoyed the Chainsaw Massacre Challenge. It certainly lived up to its name. The challenges are pretty intense and you'll spend a lot of time taking out zombies. All the way to the very end. So thanks to Kovac and How to Survive for my first enjoyable lesson in Zombicide. The basic version of How to Survive has plenty to keep you busy, including online cooperative play. There's also a bunch of cheap DLC for it which introduces new characters, gear and game modes. If you think you might enjoy it, then you might want to grab the Storm Warning Package, which includes the base game and all of the DLC. Well, that's it from me today. Until next time, watch out for the zombie deer. They're really, really nasty.